Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another food review, coach. Now today we trying out something a little interesting. You feel me? Supposedly, Little Caesars just dropped off a new pretzel crusted pizza. Now I've never tried this before. I've eaten Little Caesars, of course. You feel me? We actually did a uh, we did a Little Caesars review to their to their cheeser cheeser pizza. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll drop a link up there. Be sure to go check that out. I want to say that was like. Maybe the end of November or December or something like that, but um, we haven't done a review of them since. Now, for all the ones who don't know, I've been on Little Caesars as of recent. Like that's where I ordered pizza from. Used to be Pizza Hut, kind of moved to Chinello's, Papa John's, and now I'm. I've been on Little Caesars, bro. You get that three meat treat or the five meat feast. Never get the five dollar hot and ready. You feel me? But either way, bro. Supposedly they doing something with a little hidden code on here. It says, in a unique twist, Little Caesars has hidden codes in athlete social media content, a radio spot, and even in the middle of the desert. These codes, what does that mean? These codes allow customers to unlock pretzel -y prizes like pretzel crust pizza shoes, a pretzel crust area rug, and a pretzel, <laughs> pretzel crust themed mop. What the heck is Finders of these pretzel crust codes can enter them at unlockpretzelcrust.com to discover if they have won some of the exclusive prizes. Hey man, so I mean, of course they putting a little bit of promo behind it, throwing that in there with the promotional codes and all that stuff, but let me give y'all a quick little uh, description of what's, what's going on here. All right, now it says, Little Caesar says, this pizza is our most popular product request on social media. Is that true? I, I did search on YouTube. I seen it was at least at least 15 to 20 people that did reviews of this pizza two years ago. So supposedly this pizza had already came out. I guess it was a limited time thing. Now they're bringing it back for a limited time because I believe it says it's um it's back until March 28th. So you basically got like a full month to try it out if you want to. Um, but it says the pretzel pizza comes with a creamy cheddar cheese sauce mozzarella and munster cheese m-u-e-n-s-t-e-r i don't know how to pronounce that and pepperoni you can customize it to put traditional pizza sauce on there if you're not rolling the dice on this cheddar cheese sauce though the wild times don't end there the pretzel crust pizza was first introduced back in 2014 this time however you're going to get two versions one is the classic take the other is the pretzel pizza with the cheese stuffed crust it's available starting February 22nd and will only stick around for a little while. $6. $6 for the pizza itself, which is really not that bad of a price. But Little Caesars, I mean, I feel like they keep all their pizzas around that same $6 to maybe $10 range. Um, but either way, bro, it is what it is. I'm about to, I actually just had another Pizza Hut Detroit style pizza for lunch today, but I'm doing this. I'll explain it to y'all later. Either way, I'm about to order this for delivery. So once I get home, hopefully it'll already be there and we can go ahead and knock out the review. But either way, bruh, ain't no need to, ain't no need to keep on talking. You feel me? I'll catch y'all once we get this pizza, coach. All right, y'all. So I was gonna get delivery, but your boy ended up just going with the with the pickup, and I'll explain why when we get back to the crew. Your Little Caesars don't hey, have a Caesar pickup. Would you like to try some tire pretzel pizza today? They slip. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I actually uh, ordered it uh, under uh, Allen. The white, I'm sorry. I placed a, a order for the pretzel pizza. Oh, you can quit pulling for me. All right. If your Little Caesars don't have a drive through you're slipping, dude. I'm telling y'all, bro. It's raining out here. This is a perfect day for Little Caesars drive through And I don't know if every Little Caesars has it, but. If they ain't got it, you need to get on their head about it. All right, y'all, so we just made it back to the crib. Um, I either threw the slow motion in before this clip or I'll throw it in as I'm explaining what we're looking at here, but that might be the thumbnail, coach. You feel me? Um, but let me get the best looking slice. Now, I've never, I've never been a fan of like the pretzel bun and stuff like that, so this will most definitely be a first or something like this. But either way, I'll give y'all some up close. Like I said, this 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 pretzel bun itself has got a lot of salt on it. 
Looks like something you would get at the fair or something like that. Um, you got your pepperonis on there. That cheddar cheese sitting on top. Oh, the cheddar cheese. I forgot the cheddar cheese is in place of like where the marinara sauce would be at normally. I really don't think I'm going to like this if I'm going to keep it a buck. I mean, it doesn't, like, it It looks okay. It looks good. Like, it don't look like it's going to be bad, but I just, cheddar cheese on it, the pretzel bun. We're going to see, though. We're going to find out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. Let's go ahead in for the furry bike. I'll be honest with y'all, this is actually pretty good. I didn't know what to expect because I felt like that, that a cheddar cheese was going to be too much. You feel me? Like overpowering. <clears throat> overpowering, basically. But it's really not bad at all. But that, that a pepperoni. Hold on. Yeah. The pepperoni and that cheddar cheese, I feel like, complement each other real well. Better, way better than I expected. I thought I was only going to eat one slice of this. I'm probably going to give you two more and let my nieces and nephews split the rest of it. This is actually not bad, though, bro. Little Caesars, you surprised me, bro. I didn't expect it. Like I said, as far as the pretzel wave of things or the pretzel lane of things like the pretzel bun sandwiches and stuff like that i think i maybe have tried a pretzel bun sandwich one time in my life and i can't even tell you what it was but i've never really been a big fan of them of anything like that i know wendy's has a couple or one or two sandwiches with the pretzel bun um and there's a couple other places as well but like i said i had never tried this when it dropped two years ago So I didn't really know what to expect. But this is pretty good, bro. Would I order it again? Maybe. I wouldn't go out of my way to order it. Because I would still rather have a three meat treat. That's set, I think it's $7 for that. Or a, a five meat feast. I think it's 10 for that. I would still rather have those because it comes with more meat on it. Like it comes with so paws. <laughs> it comes with sausage, bacon, all that extra stuff on there. But... This is pretty good. I would I would definitely say try it out. I know I've, I've seen people with mixed reviews on it. Some people say they like it. Some people say they don't. Like I said, for me personally, I went into it thinking, eh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to like it, but it's actually a pretty good blend. Like I said, that pepperoni and that cheddar cheese complement each other. I don't say perfectly, but it's, it's there. And those little salt pieces on there, they're almost, almost too much. Almost too much salt, but it's not really too much, you feel me? This may be even better if they put a side of cheese, or if they included a side of cheese for you to dip your actual bun in. But let's try the actual bun itself. Mmm. I see that's for me <clears throat> the bun with the salt is where it's too much the actual bun itself is I said the bun the crust with the salt is a little too much that's a little overpowering salty wise now the actual bun itself is still pretty good you know what I'm saying it's kind of chewy I will say light it doesn't seem like it's too too heavy but I like the pizza on this more than the crust itself. If I'm being honest. Now, like I said, if they gave you a side of cheese or something to dip this in, that may work. But at the same time, that cheese may even make it even more, more salty than it already is. So, I don't know about that. But for me personally, I like the pizza with the cheddar cheese more than the actual just crust on it or the pretzel crust on its own. That's just me though, bruh. I really ain't got too much to say. As y'all see, I had a little bit of salt on my hands here, but 
Y'all didn't see my thoughts on it, bro. I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know if y'all tried this when it initially dropped, what, two or three years ago. Um, if you didn't and you're thinking about trying it now, definitely get down there in the comments and let me know. And if you have already tried it, get down there and let me know what you thought about it. You feel me? I want to know y'all thoughts on it. Y'all didn't see mine. Um, I don't really got too much else to say, though, bro. It's been another food review. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If y'all got any suggestions for new food reviews, be sure to drop those down below. I know McDonald's just dropped a new chicken sandwich. Um, like two or three chicken sandwiches. Well, it's the same chicken sandwich, but different variations of it. So if y'all want to see a review to something like that, let me know if y'all hear of any new products, any new items y'all want me to try out. Just get down there in the comments, let your boy know, man. But Lil Caesars, I might have to get this one a 7 out of 10. You feel me? 7 out of 10. That's what I'm going to stick I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like in and out. I got a go.